Hi, it's teacher Erica from Centralia Center West, and today I wanted to show you some of the number games we use in our classroom to help children identify quantity and numerals. Um, these are just simple. You can have them at home. Um, probably the easiest is we use dice. And we just roll a dice and they tell me what number it is. Um, so one, two, and it's also introducing patterning. If they're next to each other, they're two. This line is three. They start alerting that this is the, what five looks like. Because a lot of us have this in our mind and so we can recognize this. You don't have to count. When you're playing dice, you don't have to count. You know what the pattern and the number is. So we do use this in the classroom and help them. Um, dollar store dice or from an old game, they're easy to find. Um, the next thing that we use is just a deck of cards. Um, I can ask them what, how many is that? And they can, again, here's the same patterning. Two on the top, one in the middle, that's a five. One, two, three, four, five. There's a five right there. Two. So we can ask, I ask them to identify them. Sometimes I'll give them buttons and they can line buttons up and count how many so that they're putting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight buttons down. Um, another game we do, we all know it is war. I do not refer to that in the classroom, but um, I give the, each child a set of cards and they each turn one over. Oh, they're the same. And then we have to. And then this one is now bigger than this one, so this child takes that. And so we're learning which is more, which is less. Um, one of the things that I do do when we're doing a lot of these things is I remove the face cards until the child has been in my classroom for a long time and can play and then we show them that the face cards are the equivalent of 11 12 and 13 and are bigger than the other cards and so would but for the most part i have those out um, these activities can also be done it doesn't have to be a full set of cards if i counted my cards i don't have a full deck here so if you have a deck that one or two are missing those are great because it doesn't really matter there's three other fours in the deck. So one of the other things that we will do with this is we will put down two cards and then I just have some cards with symbols. This one means greater than, if it's this way, it's less than or equals to. And we teach them that the mouth, the bigger side goes to the bigger number. One, two, three, four, five, one, two. Which one is bigger? The five. And so they would be so five is greater than two. This one we could put the equal sign. So yeah, these are just three by five cards, construction paper, anything I've cut, I've put the symbols. Um, we can also start doing, could start using plus, minus, and equals and do some math sentences with these. I don't have them set up right now to do that because it was the beginning of the year. Another game that we play in the classroom is We Play Uno. Um, it's a really good game when they need to sit down and we do something together. Again, I've removed all of the special cards for when we start playing because even though there's no words, they are symbols, they can learn them. It just adds a level of difficulty that three-year-olds and first-time player four-year-olds don't need. So I just remove them, set them aside, and then we start playing Uno. And Uno is great because you can match either the color, so I have a one, but there's a nine, or you can match the number. And so even the very young three-year-olds can match color, and then we can help them start catching numbers. There's a five. There's a green, there's a five. And now I have, oh, I have a red six. And so, and I don't expect them to hold them. 
we lay them out and help each other. Um, so it's really nice to see the four-year-olds helping the three-year-olds. So big sister help can help could help little brother at home or or who knows their numbers. So these are just some simple things that I have in my classroom that I use to do the number to help them count, identify quantity, and to identify numerals. And they're very easily used at home. So have a great day and have fun.